Good evening, welcome to another Rome vlog. We're starting the vlog, I did groceries. I did groceries. I've been here just over a week and I finally did groceries. And I didn't even do that much groceries. Living alone is weird. Living alone and buying your own groceries and figuring out what you want to eat, weird to me. First of all, I got this, which I'm very excited about, a um, uh, cutlery separator for the drawer because the store is huge and like, where were you gonna put the cutlery? So I got a cutlery separator. I got this for the, outside the shower, just a little shower mat, self-explanatory. I got some small spoons, because last night I had Ben and Jerry's, and the only spoons we had were like really, really big spoons. I don't know where they are, so I got some small spoons, but I obviously need to put those in the dishwasher first. And then I got a bowl, a singular bowl, because I didn't have any bowls, so I got a bowl. I got some eggs. The vision is, that really, I just kind of got breakfast food. Um, I didn't get anything for dinners. So I got smoked salmon. This was the nicest, most orange looking one and also the most expensive, but I have, I'm weird about smoked salmon. So I got smoked salmon. These were the only bagels to choose from. So I got those American bagels, cream cheese, eggs. So that's breakfast. Bagels, smoked salmon, cream cheese, eggs. Um, I also got cheese to make cheese toasties, single Nutellas because I just thought they'd be handy to have. Um, my favorite chocolate in the world, lint sea salt. A pizza cutter, because sometimes I've been getting pizzas, whether that's takeaway or delivery, and they're not cut. So I got a pizza cutter. White Monster, of course, salt, um, a loaf of bread, things to wash my clothes. And these are so good. I'm gonna be so frank and honest, eating out or getting food in the local delis and cafes in Rome is so cheap. Like I can go to my cafe next door and get a sandwich for like two euro, three euro. I can get a croissant for like a euro. I can get poke bowls delivered to my house for 10 euro. So I don't know. I don't. I didn't think I needed to buy too many groceries. I was gonna buy like yogurt and granola, but then I was like, I don't really eat that. Since moving to Rome, I washed my hair twice in the shower water. And the first time I washed it, I actually didn't notice anything like too bad. And then the second time I washed it, I was like, my hair feels so incredibly icky. And I like couldn't put my finger on it. I was like, it just feels like icky. And my hair, if I let my hair dry naturally, cause my hair would be naturally kind of more frizzy or curly. So if I let it dry naturally, sometimes it doesn't feel as nice, you know, as when I style it. But this time I like dried it, I styled it, whatever. And it still felt like so not nice. And I was like, I don't know what's going on here. So I posted a TikTok about it, obviously, and I got a blow dry. And a lot of people in the TikTok comments and also some of my mutuals on Instagram who have lived in Rome previously messaged me and was like, oh my God, yeah, you have to get a filter like it's necessary. My hair was so bad. My hair started falling out. Hello Clean, a uh, hair filter, a uh, shower filter brand, got in contact with me actually a few weeks ago before I ever moved to Rome and asked me, did I want a shower filter? Did I want to try one for my hair? And I was like, absolutely, you know me and beauty and self-care, like I will try anything once. I think they're sending one out. I sent them my address. So hopefully that'll be here like this week or next week. I don't know, it's Monday now. Blow dries here in Rome are about 15, 20 euro, which is fine. So I'm thinking if I get one blow dry a week for, like I'm assuming the hair filter won't take longer than two weeks to get here. So I'm gonna just live the bougie blow dry life until, or piega as it's called in Rome, in Italian. So I'm just gonna get a blow dry. And then when my shower filter comes, I'm gonna get the Christoph Robin scalp scrub. And I'm gonna um, keep this hair journey going because as we know, my hair goal is for it to be all the way down my back. So, yeah, I just don't want to risk washing my hair in a shower 
that are in water that will make my hair feel icky again and that will just annoy me. Good evening. Happy Pancake Tuesday. Oh, that burnt. Oops. I was trying. <laughs> oh no, look how bad that looks. I was trying to, um, I saw someone on online put like kinder chocolate into a pancake, like in, in the center, but I think I did it wrong and it burned. But anyway, it's Pancake Tuesday. So it's the day before Ash Wednesday, but also it's the day before Valentine's Day. Um, I'm excited because tomorrow for Valentine's Day, I'm, you know me, maybe you don't know me, maybe you don't know this about me, one thing about me is I adore Valentine's Day. Also, sorry, this setup is so cute for vlogging in my kitchen, kitchen come living area. I love an open space, do you know what I mean? I hate like a closed kitchen. It makes me feel kind of claustrophobic. But anyway, we are pancaking it up right now. And I always feel like the first pancake is the worst pancake. And this pancake definitely looks not great. So I'm just gonna go straight in with pancake number two. I kind of made the batter quite thick. Bird's blood is the deepest. Baby, I know. Happy Lover's Day, lovers. I literally just, I would say I bought these for myself, but my dad actually sent me money on Revolut today to treat myself to flowers. So I went back to the same flower spot as last week, literally here and I got these cabbage flowers, but then I added some sunflowers to it. I also got a curly blow dry, which is still falling out. So yeah, we're having a great day. And genuinely the man that works at that flower shop is the sweetest man, um, so, so nice. So yeah, I was between roses. I was gonna get roses, but allegedly I have a delivery, which I think could be roses tomorrow. Well, it was supposed to come today, but then the delivery people messed it up but that's fine too because then i get two valentine's days and two flowers instead of two bouquets on the same day we get one on wednesday and maybe one on thursday or friday so i'm not stressing i'm meeting one of the guys he literally texts me i was planning on taking myself for a hugo anyway um but he literally texts me to meet him at like half seven and i think it's like half five now so i'm gonna go home and i think i'm gonna order a carbonara now i was gonna get one later but if i'm meeting him at half seven then i should probably just get it beforehand so my dad always gets me valentine's flowers and obviously i'm in rome so today he revoluted me and <laughs> told me to get myself flowers so i was getting flowers and i was like I don't know, am I in like a red rose mood or, and then I saw these cabbage flowers and I loved the color so much, like the baby pink because the flowers I got myself last week were dark pink um, and they are completely dead. So I need to replace them. So I got these <laughs> and then someone, a certain someone who doesn't even watch my YouTube videos, I don't think, and I want to keep it that way, sent me flowers for Valentine's Day. Great minds. Is that not, I feel like that's like a sign from the universe or something. Like these are the flowers I bought myself. And then these are the flowers that person got me. There's also a card. So I'm, go I'm, I'm not in a relationship by the way, I'm just clarifying. But someone's obviously trying to impress me. Um, and I think no matter if you're in a relationship or not, if you're speaking to someone, he, because you are so, so worth it. Okay. It's giving romance, it's giving, and listen, I would buy myself flowers also. Like on Valentine's Day, I would buy myself flowers, but my dad got me these, and then he who shall not be named got me these. So why would, I mean, I could buy myself flowers as well. I just can't get over the, like these look like they, they were made to go together. I'm obsessed, 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 obsessed. Good morning from my Valentine's flowers. I mixed them in because they look like they're meant to go together. So I have two vases now. So we have this big vase that I bought yesterday 
um, where I arranged that. I also took out loads of the eucalyptus because I just thought it was ruining the vibes. Like it was looking too leafy and not flowery enough. And then I put, I might cut these down a bit more, but I put though, I think that's a water jug, but whatever. So woke up with two bouquets of flowers and I just put water and some sugar in. Um, I literally, <laughs> I went to a local cafe and got some sugar because I think like water and sugar is supposed to be really good for flowers. Also the guy at the flower shop said bleach, but I don't know. Also this table is giving me the ick just because of the gray on it. And I'm like, I don't know what, to, like do I varnish it? I think varnishing the table is a bit excessive. Yesterday was such a fail. And it was, Valentine's day was not a fail because of the Valentine's Day of it all. It was because I was vlogging on TikTok for the day and I was doing like a Valentine's Day alone in Rome TikTok, which I was then going to edit into this vlog. Instead of trying to vlog everywhere, I was like, I'll just make a TikTok. And the TikTok of my drafts just won't load. And I had such a cute day. I like vlogged going to get my blow dry. I vlogged going for a walk, watching the sunset in the Trevi Fountain. I vlogged going to the flower shop and all the men at the flower shop. and. It was such a fun time. There was so much eucalyptus in, in my flower bouquets. <laughs> so I just packed it into the shower. It doesn't look the most aesthetic, but it's really nice. But yeah, so now my shower is full of eucalyptus. I feel like I kind of manifested that because I've been saying, I want eucalyptus, I want eucalyptus. I bought the eucalyptus plant, which I'm tr trying to keep alive, but I think it's more of an outdoor plant. So I kind of just keep it up there in the sun in the daytime when I can, but it's not really thriving yet. But now I've loads of you can do this. Yeah, I'm just having loads of fun with this apartment, like getting it cute, getting it homey. Of course, I've only been here like two weeks. So part of my brain is like, I wanna get it done now. I wanna get it finished now. I want it to be perfect. But then part of my brain is like, Rebecca, you literally just got here. Like there's no need to spend so much money so quickly trying to like get it perfect or get it the way you want it. And that's my Thursday vibe, getting some work done, doing some apartment bits. I actually love the eucalyptus in the shower, I'm not even gonna lie. Hello, it is Friday night. It is Friday night and in true, I would say in true I live in Europe now, but I always lived in Europe because fun fact, Ireland is not in the UK. Let's say it together, Ireland is not in the UK. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, it is Friday night and in true, I live in Italy fashion. It's almost nine, no it's not, it's 8 p.m. But I'm meeting one of the girls for drinks, Friday night drinks. Now, yeah, so everything here happens just a little bit later. You just, me for drinks at 9 p.m. So I actually had dinner at like five. Um, so I've all digested that now and everything. And we are going to go to a part of Rome called Ostiense, I think is how you pronounce it. Maybe Ostiense, I have no idea, let's be honest. But we're doing that. So I had my makeup done from earlier so what I'm doing right now, I was actually blaring Taylor Swift and like bopping around the apartment and then I was like, this is girlhood. Also, all my makeup's running out. So I'm trying to like leave all of my makeup run out so that we can go to Sephora together and we can do like a proper Sephora makeup haul because I live somewhere where Sephora is now, which is exciting. So I'm just making my makeup like nighttime, kind of dark. We're gonna add lashes. And then we're done. My skin base, base makeup routine at the moment is slaying so, so hard. So if you want details of that, just comment and I can add it in to the next vlog. Cause I don't know, sometimes I'm like, do people want me to add like little mini beauty segments into my vlogs? I don't know. Of course. We need a kind of white monster to add a bit of sparkle. <laughs> um, I put up a QA and a box on my Instagram stories where people could ask me about like moving abroad, living in Rome. 
So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. One of the big questions, I two, I actually got two um, main kind of questions, like repeating. So I'll answer them in two seconds. I'm just getting my phone. So in love, but you act insane. And that's the way I love you. Sorry. We just had to have a moment of Taylor Swift, you know? Um, anyways, I got this lip liner the other day in OVS in um, that department store. It's Essence, but it's very similar to the Catrice one that I was using. Cause I don't know, do they have Catrice in Italy? But they have Essence. It's like a roll up lip liner. There's a lot of product. Whoa, okay. That's a lot. So it's a roll up lip liner and it's eight hour matte. I don't think a lip liner has ever lasted eight hours on me, let's be honest. The only mirror in my apartment is still the bathroom mirror. So hopefully that will change soon. The two questions I have got asked the most when I moved to Rome is number one, how long am I gonna be here for? Rebecca, how long are you moving to Rome for? How long are you planning on staying in Rome? How long this, how long that? I have an answer for you. I don't know. And I'm not saying I don't know because like being here is indefinite, but it's like, if you think of life in a grand, you never know. I'm sorry to break it to you. <laughs> You never know. Like, I don't know how long I'm going to be here for. When I moved to Australia, I was told by so many people, only go for a year, only stay a year, 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 right? So that was in my head moving to Australia. So subconsciously, I didn't even think about whether or not I wanted to stay there longer. I was just always thinking, I'm only going to be here a year, a year, a year. There was no reason. I was 24. <laughs> I was a baby and I was like, oh, I'm going to stay here a year, I'm going to stay here a year, I'm going to stay here a year. Then it came up to like the eight, the eight or ninth month and I was like, wait, I'm kind of vibing with life down under because, you know, it can take like six months minimum to settle in to any new location that you move, you know, create a network, create friends, get a job that you don't hate, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So by eight, month eight or nine, I was like, wait, I think I want to stay here longer. I think it was actually later than that. And I was like, oh no. And then I tried to get sponsored and I didn't get sponsored by the company. And you know what? Of course, everything happens for a reason. But it was after that moment that I decided no matter where I go next in the world, I don't know how long I'm going there for because I genuinely feel like putting that time limit on myself or pretending like I think I know just put a weird like I felt like I was trying to like get everything done in the year or like that I had to have like there's this weird thing that happens when you're 24 25 I think it's because 25 feels so old to someone younger than 25 once you pass 25 you start realizing how young 25 is but before you turn 25, 25 is seen as like a midlife crisis point, I feel. So like I, in my brain, I was like, I'm nearly 25. I need to go home. I need to set up my life. I need to set up my business. I need to figure out what I'm doing. Like it was so dramatic in my head. And it was like this weird time limit of it all. And now I look back and I'm like, girl, you were so young. So if anyone's watching this and is 24, 25 and feels like they have to have it all figured out, you don't. And even if you're older than that, if you're 30, if you're 40, if you're 25, 22, 18, 16, 27, 24, I don't care what age you are. Side note, no one has it figured out. But yeah, it was kind of in that moment where I subconsciously decided, okay, when I move somewhere again, because we know me, I'm not putting like, um, I'm moving here for X. And I think that confuses people because, you know, a lot of people like to know like, oh yeah, Rebecca's gone here now and she's gone there for a year. Or Rebecca's gone here now and she's gonna try live there forever. Or, you know, and it's like, 
I don't know what's gonna happen in Rome. Am I gonna fall in love with the city, set up a complete life here, or like stay here for the rest of my life? Am I gonna stay here for five years and then feel incredibly drawn to a different part of the world? Am I gonna stay here for three months and get an opportunity in the south of Italy and move down there? I don't know. And there's no point trying to figure that out because that information is actually irrelevant. The only thing that I definitely know is that I'm here right now, tonight, on the 16th of February. And I'm enjoying it in the moment. I'm getting everything together. I'm exploring a new city. I'm making new friends. I'm meeting new people. I'm really enjoying the independence of living alone again. And I am just here for a good time, a good experience, to meet new people, to do new things, to explore, and to live life free there. And that's the only thing I know. And I don't actually have to know anything other than that, and you don't either. So if you are planning on moving somewhere or going somewhere and people keep asking you, how long are you going for? When are you coming back? Are you gonna stay there forever? Just be like, I actually don't know. Because why try give people answers to questions that you don't know the answers to? Do you know what I mean? I'm not going like out out tonight. I think we're just going for like one or two like chilled drinks, I think is the vibes. I think next Friday night we're going out out, but that's a week away. I just have to get the jawline. See, it's nighttime now, so I can add more shadows to my face because my period is due my period's actually due probably when you're watching this my period's due sunday <laughs> my period's due sunday so the cramps are slightly kicking in to be honest i don't know what i'm wearing yet but the outfit's always the, the last priority with me anyways the second question that i've been getting asked a lot since i moved to rome is how do you make friends in a new city or how have I made the friends that I have made in Rome thus far? Obviously I'm only here two weeks so I'm still yet to meet a lot of the people I will meet along my journey I would imagine but I am very fortunate that I met one person and that one person essentially was just went above and beyond in my opinion and kind of introduced me to some of their friends and then we got along, which I think is rare. And you know, there are so many places, like when I lived in Sydney, I moved there knowing like friends who were in Sydney and I, I don't think I made too many like new friends because it was like, I was there with people I knew. So I didn't necessarily, not that I didn't have to, but like it was a lot more comfortable. Whereas obviously I'm in Rome, like, I don't know anyone here, really. Well, I do now, but like, you know, when I was moving. So, but also, I'm just gonna bring this into spirituality a little bit. First things first, well, not first things first, but I am living on my Jupiter line. And if you know anything about astrology, Jupiter is the planet of luck and abundance, but also, the sign Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter and I am a Sagittarius rising. So essentially what that means in non-astrology talk is I'm living in a place geographically because astrocartography is like locational astrology. So I'm living in a place geographically that is more lucky and is more abundant for me. Um, I didn't choose Rome based on my astro cartography but when I had been you all know I thought I was moving back to Australia so when I had a feeling to move to Rome I looked up my astro cartography and saw my Jupiter line was going through there and then basically in my mind I was like it's a done deal like this place is supposed to offer me opportunity and luck and abundance in all areas of my life um, so I was like, why would I not move there, you know? So here I am. I'm very living in a very lucky, abundant location in the world for me based on my astro cartography, which I genuinely 
do things helps like there has been countless amounts of signs and synchronicities that I am in the right place since moving to Rome it's wild I'm not going to go into every single one but I've just got a few different nods from the universe basically being like you're in the right place at the right time you're doing the right thing so I'm just going with that basically and it seems to be working out so far so far so good I think when it comes to making friends in a new city the first thing you have to remember is a lot of places that you will move to there'll be a lot of people in the same situation as you so a lot of people who are not from there will have moved there maybe with friends maybe alone but they're away from the place where they grew up so people are more open to making friends in like cities because a lot of people in cities didn't grow up in those cities of course some people grew up in those cities like one of the girls i'm meeting tonight she's roman and i was like where are we meeting and she gave me the name and i was like okay but where is that and she was like lol forgot you're not roman and i was like wait that's such a slip but some people you will meet will be from where you're where you are and other people you will meet won't be there but my biggest piece of advice is keep your energy open and what I mean by keep your energy open is last week when I went to get my hair blow dried the hairdresser who blow dried my hair Julia was so so lovely we had such good conversation we connected on Instagram and TikTok and I went back to her for a blow dry sense and we just get on really well I'm sure maybe sometime we'll meet for a drink or something like that I might reach out to her but if I went into that hair salon with my headphones in and I wasn't creating conversation and I wasn't open for new connections I wouldn't have spoke to her we wouldn't have followed each other like there would be no connection and I think that's so so important and it's such a small detail that's actually so relevant when you're living in a new city and that is when you go places of course in new cities some people might be a bit more close-minded and not open to new connections but the people that are you know if you connect with them if you're open to connections you'll probably connect with them whereas if you're not open to connections and you're walking of course you can be walking around listening to a podcast listening to music sometimes but if you're constantly going new places venturing out into the world and you're not open to connection if your energy isn't open like if you have your headphones in your head's down you're not paying attention no one's gonna speak to you no one's gonna come up to you you're not gonna like make eye contact with someone and like create a conversation whereas if you don't have your headphones in and you're very present in the moment and your energy is very open the, like people might strike up conversation and that's in like day-to-day -day life but also like if you go to a gym class or if you go to like a sunrise event or if you go to a like astrology thing or if you go to a pottery class or if you go to a museum if you go to somewhere that is a hobby for you or something that you like or enjoy it can literally be anything there will be other people there with similar in with you have a shared interest already so you can have a conversation about that and I know like that's one of the most cliche things to say is like oh just go somewhere that you're interested in and you'll meet people who are also interested in that thing but it's true that's where you're gonna meet people who have shared interests or my next big thing is like don't turn down invitations since I've moved to Rome I was just talking to my friend from home Shun I don't know why I said friend from home I was just talking to Shun and like I was saying like oh just going out for drinks and I was like I've genuinely had more social activity in my life since I've moved to Rome than like the whole of 2023 and I kind of thought about it and I was like of course I had because I'm in a new city meeting new people so if I'm of course you know me I love staying at home I love chilling watching Netflix ordering food journaling like staying in not going out like I'm a homebody but if you're trying to meet new people and make friends unfortunately you're gonna have to leave the house at some point and I know it's devastating 
But the other thing is when you get invited to things where someone's like, do you want to grab a drink? Do you want to grab food? You kind of have to be down. Like for normally I'm a down for whatever girl anyway. So if someone invites me somewhere, like I will want to go. But like the last three nights in a row, I have gone out and met people. Wednesday night I got a message. Hey, do you want to grab a drink? Okay. Last night I got a message. Hey, who's around for drinks? Okay. Tonight I got a message. Hey, because I need to make new connections and build new relationships and meet new people. If I'm constantly turning down invites when I'm new, like none of these people know me that well yet. So if I turn down in invites in the first few things, you're not gonna get invited again. People aren't gonna think of you when they think of someone to invite. Whereas if you're like, oh my God, yeah, I'm so down. And you're down, you're, you're creating connections. Even if it's something that like, I'm not the biggest drinker, but last night I had two drinks. The night before I had two drinks. Tonight, maybe I'll have two drinks, maybe I'll have more. But you don't have to drink. Like I could easily go tonight and drink water. I'm sure that would be fine. It's not like people are going to judge me. But you kind of just have to like be more open to invitations. Speaking of being open to invitations, where I'm going is a 20 minute walk away. And <laughs> I have to be there at night and it's 25 to nine. And I don't know what I'm wearing, but the makeup slayed. And I'll see you tomorrow or later. Bye. Good morning, stunning, beautiful, gorgeous girlies. I am so excited to be awake this morning because it is Sunday and today is the first day that I am making the Sunday market. Last Sunday it was raining so it wasn't on and the Sunday before that I was hungover. So this is my third Sunday in Rome and we're finally making it to the Sunday market. Um, it starts at like 8 a.m. But you know me, I'm not awake. It's not 8 a.m. It's like 10. It's 10.30. I just wash out my face because my period is due today, but it's late. So I was just doing some gua sha -ing. I have this stainless steel gua sha that I don't use consistently enough. So I want to start using that every single day. But yeah, it's market day. We're going to get some bits in the market. I burnt my hand last night on the oven, but I've been using the Cicaplast BAM B5 Plus on it and honestly I feel like it's really working so we're gonna have a little bit of breakfast and then we're gonna go to the market together I'm gonna take you with me to the market okay my makeup is done we're ready to go to the market I just have a hairband on because my hair has not been washed since Wednesday I need to turn off those lights in my room. My room just always has those galaxy lights on. It really be like a little sparkly cave in here. Decided to get to this market and take you with me. I'm currently um, air dropping videos from my phone to my laptop to create space on my phone because my storage is constantly full and I don't want to be walking around the market with this big camera. Like I feel like I don't know, I just, I feel like that's not the vibes of the market. Like me just walking around with a massive, it's not a massive camera, it's quite small. But still, I think a phone is easier. I slayed the makeup today. Happy Sunday. Okay, we made it to the market. Sorry, I never knew there was plants there. This is so exciting. So I've made it to the market. This is like one of Italy's biggest Sunday markets I'm pretty sure and um, this is what it like two euro two euro five euro like it's cheap but I'm gonna walk around and show you around as I go <laughs> I've literally been walking for I'd say about 15 minutes and I still haven't even reached the end <gasps> mirrors this is what I need I want a mirror. I like this one, but it's not big enough, I don't think. I need like more of a full length, like longer. Oh, also I need glasses for my house. Hmm. Six for 10, six for eight, six for 15. They're so cool. Hey, gorgeous girlies, you all know I've been looking for a mirror for my apartment. First of all, these two, gorgeous, but they're like they would have to be hung on the wall and I don't have anywhere to hang them on the wall yet but this one is so 
full length. It's like way taller than me. Um, I don't know how much it is. Also, I have no idea how I would carry it. Because I'm... Oh, excuse me. Because I'm so deep into this market right now. But I think I need this mirror. Look how cute it is. So deep into this market right now that mirror was 100 euro which i think is a little too expensive for like a market mirror it was huge also i have no idea how i would even carry it so now i'm gonna go back down the other way i still haven't found any crystal rings also which is devastating so i found a potential rug for the living area it's like a big persian rug it's in green beige or red it's only 35 euro it's big but i'm undecided as to how I feel about it. First things first, I got these sunglasses for four euro, but the rug, I've texted a few of my friends and Ashling Kavanagh, or Ashling, who is Ashling Kavanagh Designs, AK Designs, said she adores the green and she's a fashion designer. So I think I'm gonna get it. It's only 35 euro. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I can just put it in my bedroom or something, but I think I adore it. Okay, he told me 38 and then I gave him 35 and he's wrapping it up. We have a rug for the living room. I got the green, so I'm hoping it looks good. I think it will. Neve said green, Ashling said green. No one else got back to me yet. So yeah, we're getting the green. This place is insane. I got the rug. I'm holding it by the masking tape and I'm trying not to hit people with it. I want to find crystal rings now and then I'll be happy. Ooh, hello. Okay, they're closing up the market now. So everything's closing. I think I'm gonna get some food here. And then they, I also spotted this mirror, um, but it's a bit small. I want like a taller one. Um, and it's a bit small and a bit narrow, but it does look cute. The other one I saw was a hundred euro and I just thought that was a bit excessive for the market. But this is this one. I mean, it's fine if you like maybe hung it up on the wall but i feel like as a standing mirror like it's just a bit short first things first how good are these glasses they were literally four euro i think they're cute they're fun they're fresh they're different from the louis vuitton so i just came back the market's still on and i want to get food but i just came back with the rug because carrying the rug was awkward okay so i'm literally gonna open it I got the display model, so it shouldn't be like hard to flatten out. And he just put like um, like a masking tape kind of thing over it. I think this is gonna look good, you know. Ow! <gasps> Wait, is it perfect? Wait, that's so good. Wait, let me see when you come in the door. <gasps> Wait, that that looks cute. Okay, wait, I love it. Hold on. <laughs> okay, I'm waiting for it to flatten out, and the sun's shining in. So the sun shining in, so it looks a lot darker now than it is. But how cute is the rug? I'm waiting for it to flatten out all the tassels at the end. <gasps> I think it's so cute. Wait, no way. Okay, I'm gonna go back now to the market and get food because I'm starving. But this is her, the green. And I feel like green's a nice neutral. And it looks cute. I'm here, I'm doing it, I'm buying the mirror. I do adore this one, but it's not long enough. Whereas the white one is like the full length one that I want. But that is stunning, beautiful, gorgeous, amazing. Like the mirrors here are so beautiful. I think they're all vintage as well. Just bought the mirror from this guy. He, it's taller than him. I have to lift it like 20 minutes back. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. See? I don't know what he said, but I just said, see, those mirrors are stunning. Okay, let's, <laughs> let's see how this goes. <laughs> Fuck, I'm sweating. We have the mirror. I have about five minutes of my walk to go. Whew. People are looking at me as if I'm insane, but I just got a really big mirror. I just can't carry it. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> I got a mirror and it was literally I got a mirror, it's bigger than me. It just about fit in the door frame. It's so dusty though, so I have to clean it, but I'm so proud of myself. I got a rug and a mirror. What a sleigh. <laughs> so they have a day away. Okay, let's, let's see where I'm gonna put her for now. 
I think she's going to be a bedroom mirror, to be honest. But she would also look cute for now, right here. Oh, oh yeah. Cute! No, I'm obsessed. Wait, how good does that look? Sorry, I can't see you. Sorry, hello, hello, hello. These sunglasses. Sunglasses, rogue in a mirror. What a productive market day. Right. Whew. Greetings. When I tell you lifting that mirror, the, oh, that's so good. The, those bottles need to be brought to the rubbish. How good is the mirror? How good is the mirror? And the carpet? What a sleigh. 